Takže čaute ľudia a vítam vás uh, pri ďalšej časti zaklinača trojky. V minulej časti sme sa stretli s Tris a dala nám tip, že v meste má byť neuromancerka, ktorá nám pomôže nájsť uh, Siri, takže teraz sa ňo, za ňou vydáme. A ešte chcem pripomenúť, že už už mám software, ktorý nám pomôže o, robiť hento video so zvukom, takže very nice. Just passing by, wanderer, or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier, of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city, I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation, name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days. Dreaming of his history. Contract. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my way. Dobre, more. Idem to omrknúť a... Truth is, we're already... Možno si spisolíme nejaké extra. Love No, začínu materiál, ruda. Nič moc tu není. Ako mohli byť aj nejaké solidné veci. Musí byť ona. Dobre, ešte bordel. No, dobre, už idem hore, no. A ty si čo za čvole. Ten zvuk. Hej, tak jo, hore. Tajné vrátka asi, ja neviem. Wake up, it's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. Get out this up, Pratico. Let's go, Nisha, Simai. That's blood. Don't spill it, please. Ah, but no. But I'll let them do. Pot crowbie. Stop. Go away. Confessed. Leave it. Where the next room is blocked. Dark art. A je to tam. Dobre, ešte zoberieme veci. Aby sme mohli napredávať, aby sme mali orejníkov, jak nasraných. Dobre, fajn. Tu je. Ovo teraz musím hľadať. Ale našťastie máme mapu. A zaklinecké zmysly, takže to bude easy. Dobre. Fajn, tu na to lutovať nebudem už, lebo očivične tam nebudú žiadne dobré materiály. Dobre. 
O, tutaj. No jasne. Zavre mi pred nosom dvere. Nech ma neštve. Čo tu máme? Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. No joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Dobre. Ej. Prečo sa vždycky strepávam z tých schodov? Ako ja, ja to nechápem vôbec. Jako, čo, čo to za fyziku je? No, dobre, toto je. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big end chases me. End's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Dobre, tak nejaký deal spravíme, more. Sarah, Novograd's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. Se prídem o oreniky možné, ale Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. No, but no. Let us just now continue. We can talk about it. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. 
She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me? I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Dobre. Tak. Musíme stretnúť, no zase som spal z tých skolov, z tých kokos, ako... Vážne, čo to je? Sa preklikol, už znova. Dobre, tomu typko ešte budem musieť povedať, že... Eee, more, nedám tú kliatbu dole, nejde to. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Nejde to more, nejde to. A bit of both. A demon had captured Kareen. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Kareen dream of the building's past? Yeah, pretty horrid apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid. Oh well, it shan't put me in the poorhouse. No, oh, but oh. truth is, we Teraz tam môžeme ísť. Späť po fiči. No, kvena si zase nastavím. Po odporúčeného, lebo už na normálnej to není easy. Čo dobrá mohlo byť? Čekneme to a prípadne v nasledujúcej časti to urobíme. Zakázka, very nice. Queen. Dobre. Aj tak to zrovna všetko. A to bude vysoký level do stanu hlavy. Možno by bolo nahrávanie a budovie. Jedno by som mohol zrobiť. Tie ostatné to som si nalabovať. Aha. O, kacena. Help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short and have a round. Because we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Yes, I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well... How long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to move over there. Oh! Why do you want to go? Fine. Dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, 
I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this, and though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? No. Oh. Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed <coughs> blood. <coughs> You're a legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. 
I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri yeah, having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Upremně vyzeralo lepše v bojtě. A kostu na... To se odprve petardy očividně v dome. Jednu megu tam hodil. Tam tebe tvík jsem to. Petardy hádaju. Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Time in their room. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri.
Nu au cost mea cu corunii si nu e ca trebuia m-am Mare Cred ca media mai Never come back, you stinking scadges! Huh, so done. Ah. Next time I'll rip your legs In the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't gone more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? Mister. With pleasure. Hey Zoltan, you look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem, then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. Respecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. I've no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Oh, man. Fine. Так, сейчас будем From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the... Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. <laughs> this is the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. Annual balladry contest. Silver Laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. 
Prince Harry were themselves in the honours, and the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swine to yodel, and I... Ugh, another time. Hmm. Nose is too small. Aye, <laughs> and the sword's too big. Uh, by the by, is that how it's done? Killing a wyvern? <laughs> Technique's not quite right, but you gotta admit he's doing it with gusto. No, toto by mohlo byť ono. O, máme to. Ten barrels of Tucson dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. Not seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Ah. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm, we should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Such a Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. No. Oh, but I thought. Such a info. Still here. Looking for something? Ah, oh, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off of her. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly. Keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A baroness within reach, and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And, well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind half of it. Called him her stallion once. That's the fool trigger as a compliment. Till she pulled her bit in the reins into her cupboard. Oh, poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility, 
to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf? Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosavar Atre named her Gwihir. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred sorply. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? See, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. to budeme muset bohužel ukončit. Pozorme se po nich v další epizodě. Takže, jak se vám video páčilo, dáte like, odber a sdělejte. Čau tě. V další epizodě se uvidíme.